Welcome back, everybody. This is still your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Here's some food for thought. How often do you think about the food you are actually eating, where it comes from, how it makes you feel, and what it's doing for your body? Like, just like other animals, we need to eat in order to survive. But what sets us apart is our unique emotional connection to, feed, to food, which can either help us or harm us. Definitely. Now it's Monday, and that means we're talking all things relationships. And today, we're asking, how do you define your relationship with food? Now, our clinical psychologist and our resident Asha Dulab is here today to help us discuss this and we're taking your questions and comments too via our Facebook page so keep bringing them in so we can answer you right here live on the show but of course before we get into it I've got to say good morning our <laughs> special one of course always sharing all the the wisdom the light and, and everything that we need and today we're speaking about food our relationship with food which is so so important and so so confusing yes. we all have a different and weird and interesting relation with food and I, I want to just kick it back to the beginning I mean you get that age-old saying of you are what you eat is that notion true is it just a random theory does it have any like plausibility or sense in what we're talking about today yeah I think it definitely does have uh, relevance um, it's an expression that um, explains that whatever we take into our body not only just um, is a representation of our physical body but also it determines the quality of our thoughts and our feelings and our behaviors so what we take in really it's who we are it actually extends to saying tell me what you eat and i'll tell you all about you and you know we have to go back to the the old saying from um, hippocrates way back in 390 bc we he said, let food be your medicine mm. and let medicine be th your food. Yeah. And I think it's quite uh, relevant, especially now in the pandemic. I mean, I think that we are faced with um, so many modern day illnesses. Um, we've got diabetes, we've got cancers, we've got depression, uh, anxiety. And now more than ever, we need to take note of what we are putting into our system because it has such a bearing on our overall well-being and the state of our mind. 100% mm. is all about being conscious about what you're putting into your body. Here's one thing I wanted to ask you, where does that relationship with food come from? Where does it stem from for an individual? Does it come from our cultural upbringing, mm -hmm. psychological, where does that stem from? It's a combination of everything. I think it's our cultural, our ethnic backgrounds, our racial backgrounds, our family of origin, and that plays such an important role as well. And, you know, let's face it, food is all about emotions. We connect with our emotions, and it really goes back to infancy when we were born and the way we connected with our primary caregiver that fed us, that emotion, um, you know, we, we were connecting with the emotion of, of bonding, of connection, of feeling safe, a sense of belonging, nurturance. So people are um, eating and, and connecting with the emotions and memories. Mm. I mean, if we think food is the central thing that brings us together in social gatherings, whether it's a celebration, whether it's a funeral, whether it's um, um, a birthday party, even holidays, it's all about food. It is definitely. <laughs> I, think, I think even in, in listening to you, I mean, look, the show itself as well, we use it as a celebration in birthday cakes. We use it as fuel for performance, but we also are doing things that aren't as positive. So we get into this habitual behavior where we're not necessarily doing it for our own good. And I, I, I think it's something that I definitely want to chat about a little bit later. We don't have much time now, but we are chatting to Asha Dulab, of course, right throughout the show. We've got more segments coming up. And we're asking you about how you define your relationship with food. Now, Asha is obviously here today. She is helping us discuss this topic and of course as spoken about earlier we are taking your questions too so comment via our Facebook page so we can chat to you about your dying questions that you have about your relationship to food and of course we will be sharing all the info that you need with our resident and specialist Asha Delav so stick around for more <laughs>